Well, I think for starters, uh, I think Barry Odom has, been, has done a ph phenomenal job. Uh, for someone who two years ago seemed close to the end, uh, it's one of the, the great turnarounds I've seen in, in recent history. And I think he's done it uh, very cautiously and, and, and carefully and, and confidently. In terms of this year, they are a legitimate dark horse. Um, if they can deal with the early part of the schedule and win the games they're supposed to, they've got a real shot. Uh, they got Florida at home. We know they can beat Florida. Can they go to Georgia and win? Not so sure, but I, I think they'll be alive for a while. I, I, I've, I've been covering uh, the NCAA for a long time. Uh, I started as an investigative reporter dealing with NCAA issues. I say that to say this. Uh, in all the years that I've watched, studied, and reported on the NCAA, I think this is the, the most outrageous penalty I've ever seen. It, it, there's no justification for it. There, there's no rhyme or reason. Uh, and you hear this said all the time, it's not fair to penalize players who weren't involved. But, I mean, this is not even remotely close to uh, what this football team uh, is currently doing. And I, I guess maybe if we were in tune with where the NCAA was or, or how they were thinking, it would be, it would be one thing. But uh, the longer I've thought about this, uh, the, the more I've read about it, the more I've spoken to people both uh, at Mizzou and elsewhere, uh, the more sickened I am by it. And I think it's a tough hill to overcome uh, w with an appellate case, but but to penalize this football team for that, it, it it's it, it's not only uh, reprehensible; it shows why people genuinely hate the NCAA. Well, you know, when you go back, you have to remember how Missouri and A and M got in here. Uh, the thought process of, of Mike Slive, the commissioner at the time, and the league was to broaden the geographical footprint. With what in mind? Television, SEC network. So from that standpoint, they accomplished their mission. Uh, they made the SEC a much bigger league. I, I think it's been good. Uh, Missouri is always going to be a little bit different than the Southern schools. Texas A&M is a, is a natural fit. Uh, but I, I've been to Missouri many times, probably be out there early in the year. I've, I've been to uh, Kansas City and spoken to the Tiger Club there, and, I, and it really helped me understand that Missouri has great fans, uh, just fa ph phenomenal fans. And you know, they care about everything, uh, basketball, football, uh, everything else. And, and, and I think they've been a good, you know, they've been a good partner to the, to the SEC. You know, some will pick on them and say, well, what about this? What about, well, I mean, they, they, they acquitted themselves pretty quickly uh, by getting to, the, to Atlanta a couple of times. And, and I think that's a that's a positive thing. And you know, the basketball uh, season uh, two years ago was exciting. Uh, unfortunately, didn't have a great ending, but it was still a memorable time. So overall, yeah, I think it's been a very good fit.